हाई एवरी वन नमस्ते दिस इज मॉम हर्षा लाइव एट फाइव सो वेन आई पोस्टेड टूडे दैट आई एम गोइंग टू बी लाइव दे वर लॉर ऑफ क्वेश्चन अंडर माई पोस्ट एंड अदरवाइज ऑल्सो वेन एवर आई एम पोस्टिंग एनी रील और एनी पोस्टर और एनी ब्लॉग I continuously keep receiving lot of DMs, lot of uh, comments about children's behavior, about children's uh, how to parent them, how to upbring them. There are lot of questions. So then I thought, let me come live once and then talk face to face to everyone. So in this session, the best part is that if you want to be live with me, you can send me a request and I'll bring you up on board. and then we can have one to one conversation i can listen to your problem and i can give you solutions so till uh, we begin with that session um, let me uh, collate all the questions and uh, give you some solutions that are practical workable and which can give you little relief that okay fine this is going to work so yes uh, you want to join just a moment let me finish with my first session and of course i will bring you up so in my last session also and today also i would mention one thing which is very very important when you become a parent you have to be conscious of one thing that children and you are two separate entities are two separate human beings physically we know that but mentally at times you know we get confused with this we have a perfect picture in our mind how the child should behave how the things should work out but when it comes to practicality the things are different so here many a times in my sessions i've spoken and today again i will speak this that if we want to bring that little change in our children little habit any any habit that you want to change any behavior that you want to change any issue that you want to solve you will have to change first and when i'm talking this this is out of 100 100 100 100% experience because when we've heard lot of times you know that uh, children uh, copy us our actions speak louder but have we ever felt the need to dig deep into this thought i would request everyone of you to just sleep with the, with this thought that actions speak louder because this is 100 percent true when it comes to parenting so this is 100 percent true and once you start analyzing when you sleep with this thought when you dig deep into this thought you will come to know that yes your words hardly have any value your actions only have value but to come to that part of life when your actions are stronger than your words will require a lot of effort and many a times in this a process of efforts you will feel the need to give up that nothing is changing i've tried so much i've heard to so many sessions so many experts and i've read so many books but nothing is working so at some point of time as a mother even i feel i should give up this but that's the test because if we make that little change in ourselves definitely that change will reflect into our children's behavior any change for that matter children are yelling children are crying there are a lot of tantrums children are stubborn anything you put under this category you will have to change first so let me give you an example for this uh as i told my daughter who's turned 10 this month so 10 years so with her i have lot of daily issues as normal parents have every day there is some problem or the other so whenever i try to tell her and shout at her and you know i try to boss her or i try to control her things don't work but gradually over a period of time what i have observed is as i changed my way of instructing her 
my way of talking with her little of her behavior started changing now here the ratio is you know 100 is to 1 simple calculation 100 times or 100 folds 100 multiply efforts you will put 1% uh, result you will get and that also is not a guarantee that you will get at that particular time sometimes you'll have to put 200% of efforts and here when i'm talking about these efforts are consistent efforts they these efforts could not be like that that okay fine one week you try you will soften your tone and you will not shout and you will control your behavior because as as parents frankly speaking at times we lose our temper we lose whatever we thought early in the morning when we get up you know we feel okay fine today i've made up my mind that i'm not going to shout i'm not going to uh, be uh, very strict very rude i'm going to be composed but during those 10 12 hours of our day comes a time when we have to you know we feel okay oh fine from tomorrow i'll start let me do it this right now let let me tell her something let me finish with this matter and from tomorrow i'll start that day comes in every parent's life whatever the issue whatever you've written in your comments whatever issue all fall under one umbrella that is your effort and that is why i just released a reel wherein i mentioned about the rome technique i really love that proverb and i think it goes it fits in with parenting very much rome was not built in a day i mentioned this in all my sessions similarly our parenting strategies techniques ideas practices will take long to convert it into reality plus the second thing that i have noticed is the children at every age and stage of their life have some phases the problem or the issue that we had when they were 2 years old no longer we have when they are 3 years old the problem has changed problem remains it is going to be there problem any of every age there is going to be some or the other problem you've solved one the other creeps up that is the whole process of parenting so here what we have to do is we have to work on ourselves because these are not robots you know you will program them and then you switch on and they'll start functioning as you have programmed them they are human beings plus additional thing to be on little on a humorous side they are our extension so something of ours is definitely going to be there with them and time and again it's going to flash what we see into our children is a little of what we are so if you want them to change it's so simple this logic this mathematics or this equation is so simple if you want them to change what have we to do and let's say last time also when i had done this live session i said that try anything for 21 days let me know how many of you have tried one technique for 21 days i am sure there must be a time in those 21 days where you must have given up thinking it's not working it works for her but it's not working for me very true so this you know we cannot change ourselves for 21 days it's a child who's growing up there are a lot of changes there are a lot of things that happen with children there are a lot of things you know any behavior that the child is doing uh, crying throwing tantrum being stubborn there there are so many things that the child is going through is not able to express is um confronted with what happens it comes out one or the other way it's as simple as that so whenever you know next whenever you have any issue with your children uh when you sleep at night you know try this this really works when you sleep at night before going into deep sleep think of the day that has passed not the behavior of the child but yours every night when you sleep think of your behavior how you behaved the entire day with your children if you behave good into 
this calculation or equation fits in properly note it if you behave good into 100 is equal to one good tick of the child and this also sometimes is zero tick but when i'm talking about you as a parent if you are not consistent in making those changes and taking those changes a long way how the child is going to take so simple as that the room technique that i had mentioned i'll mention here again r o m e so here r is reasonable you have to be very 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 reasonable in your demands that you're asking from a child's behavior because sometimes you know we are asking too much we are asking too much o is being open minded you have to be open minded as parents for changes that come your way to accept those changes because with children of today gen z children they are totally different children they are raised a, in an environment wherein there is lot of exposure there are there are lot of things that come their way it's not only you from whom they are learning there's an entire environment circle they are friends neighbors their schoolmates television mobile internet google everything and this goes true for even a 2 year old forget about the 20 year old so see how much of uh, things are put in a child's brain now the child is just trying to you know accumulate everything now trying to understand what's going on and then as a parent we are expecting certain behavior so how will it happen so be reasonable be open minded to understand come down to their level at times you know we what goes on in the child's life so be reasonable be open minded now m is my favorite word which is very very difficult for everybody be mindful now this when i'm talking about everybody it's me first because why i'm saying mindful is because for children their learning school is parents so how we deal with situations how we talk how we walk how we behave how we reply react respond how we feel when we are happy when we are sad when we are angry all those things are noticed by that little child registered immediately and it it's very beautifully said that good things take time you know to spread but bad things spread like this so be mindful very very mindful and the last word of the room technique is e expect less accept more this goes for any relation this goes for any relation but when it's a parent and a child relation it becomes all the more important because we as parents sometimes feel that children are our property and we have all the rights you know to dictate them to control them and which is very wrong because when a toddler is there you can uh, control a toddler for a temporary you know uh, the child out of fear or out of any reason may listen to you that is a very temper come 10 years old believe me back answering will start the child will start back answering and when you are so ultimately you know what happens over a journey of of your parenting to raise a good child a good citizen uh, what we've done is we've ended up in a mess so for me if you ask what is more important is bonding with your child that is more important over anything if i have to uh, keep i would say it's bonding the love not over protecting the child not over loving the child not being over pampering not over pampering the child but everything into proportion but my relationship with the child so that's very important that uh, our relationship with our children should be very very strong because when you will understand this when your child reaches the age of teenager or is an adult so 
so it's a long journey so now let me pick up a few questions that i have so your uh, uh i ask what is the problem always said because it's too noisy school long time now i'm uh, if anybody wants to join the live session can send me a request and i'll pick them up on facebook on instagram i won't be able to do that so on facebook if anybody wants to join uh send me a request and i'll pick you up and you can put your question in front of the audience so parenting is a wonderful journey of for all uh, ups and downs uh, there are a lot of good days there are lots and lots of bad days when at night you sleep you feel oh my god this day was a terror but then you know uh, it's it's a beautiful journey because ultimately we love children and uh, children love us so remember the room technique r o m e how to tackle a 14 year old so as i mentioned uh, meer ramya meer mayur shah so as i mentioned you know that the rome technique i think the best technique r o m e reasonable open minded mindful and expectations if you have a control over all these four best nothing you know there are certain things which you cannot change but you will have to change to make that little change so uh, meera mayur shah uh, dealing with teenagers is a task and it will not happen in one day because uh, as i mentioned the journey starts from the child the time the child has taken birth so suddenly if you are trying to change a 14 year old boy it will not happen lot of efforts lot of patience has to go in that and only then you will find that little change so that equation also which i mentioned you know 100 is to 1 goes fit with parenting styles so i hope that uh, uh, collectively i have replied to all the questions that i received but if there's anything you can comment in the comment section box and listen to this video one more time closing your eyes and just thinking of you as a parent and your children keep them in center and listen to this video and you will have your solutions because every child is different every parenting style is different for that matter so mom harsha says enjoy parenting and for any assistance feel free to leave a comment and i will definitely come back to you thank you enjoy your day